This is Fox 19 Now. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. New at 5, we are hearing from the grieving family of a man who was hit and killed while fixing his car on 75 North Sunday morning. In an interview you're only going to see here on Fox 19 Now, our Alexis Martin sat down with his family members as they search for answers. It this this the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Switching between tears and laughs of happy memories, sisters, nieces, and the wife of Rika Williams sat together, sharing their favorite stories about him. It was loved. It was never a dull moment, William. It was never a dull moment. He come in, he capping, he making everybody laugh. Everybody got a story to tell, and it's a great story. The Cincinnati Police Department says Rico had pulled over on I-75 North near Mitchell Avenue working on his car when he was hit and killed around 1.30 Sunday morning. My husband is going to come home this morning. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't see his face. I'm hurt. And that just won't answer. Officers say a 30 year old man lost control of his car when he hit Rico, but they say they don't think the driver was speeding or impaired. The driver was not arrested and Rico's family wants to know why. How do they feel? We don't know, but it would help just for them to reach out to us and give their condolences because they have literally took the man of our family. Rico's family says they are extremely close, and Rico was like a father to his five siblings. They say he was always dancing and singing with a smile on his face. It was the light of the party. I don't get, he showed up and showed off every time. The family says Rico played a huge role in the lives of his dozens of nieces and nephews. Every family member I spoke to says that family was everything to him. Who am I gonna call when it would have been him? So. He was everything to me and my family, and I just want the world to know how much and he was loved and how much he loved us. Rico's family says this tragedy hurts more than the large family he leaves behind. It hurts an entire community. Rico's 47th birthday was just two days before he was killed. His sister, Denitra, says she spent the day with him at a Bengals game. She shows us one of the last pictures she ever took with him. And that was the last time I got to wrap my arms around my brother, and I would have never thought in a million years that would be the last time that I got to see him. The family says having answers about what happened to their brother won't fit fix the pain, but it will help them understand. They hope the person who hit him will come forward and talk to them since the police have not released the driver's name. I want to forgive people for things that they do, but this right here, it's going to take a long time for me to forgive a person that took him away from us. That was Alexis Martin reporting. The family says it would mean the world to them if whoever hit Rico would come forward. Any witnesses to that crash are asked to contact the Cincinnati Police Traffic Unit.